Welcome, guys. So today we are solving the thirty-seven and the thirty-eight in the GRE subject math. Okay, so thirty-seven. Uh, probably it's probably simple that. Uh, uh, you guys already know the answer, but uh, let me show you how to do this. If you have not yet know the answer. Okay, so basically, if in the infinity is not correct, right? And then the, the, the it's definitely not e, right? Because you already you know that which is larger than e, right? Because you know that this is definitely larger than this, and it is definitely smaller than infinity by ratio test. So you know that the answer must be b, c, e, d. One of them, right? So. To do this, uh, we just said uh, we know that exponential z is z k k factorial from zero to infinity. So we differentiate respect to x. So we have uh, respect to z. What I'm talking about. Okay. And then we do the differentiation again. Okay. So what you have is suppose you add these two together, and then you have exponential z. It's two, right? You, mm, let me see. Okay, you you should not. You just that uh, z equals to one. Z we equals to one. So we have two c series. The first one exponential equals to k over k factorial, k from zero to infinity. This is k equals zero from infinity k k minus one k factorial. You add them together, you get two e equals to k equals zero to infinity. Uh, k squared minus k, so it's k squared, k factorial. So the answer is b two e two e. Right, simple, right? Uh, which of the following integral is greatest uh, uh, value? Uh, so all I solve this is I I just do the in, in integral very quickly. Uh, so cosine of pi over four is uh a one over uh is one over square root of of two, so it's one minus one over square root of two. Okay. And the second is sine t pi over four is zero is one over square root of two. Okay, the third one is zero pi over four. Use the I uh, use the 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 <coughs> uh the formula by the by the uh two. Oh, this is should be plus. Sorry. Uh, two angle formula. Oh, uh, double angle formula. Right. So this is t over two plus. Sine two d divided by four, so it's pi over four, and this is pi over eight, plus uh sine pi over two, which is one, and the minus zero. So this is the third one. And the fourth one is cosine two d dt zero from pi over four, so this is a half sine two d pi over four zero. So this is a half sine pi that uh, sine pi over two. Which is one. Right. Uh, this is a half sine two t dt. So this half. Uh, so the cosine uh this pi over. So this is uh eight on oh no, the fourth one over four one minus uh square root of. Oh no no no! It's not square root of two because two, two d means what I'm writing about. Two d means pi over two, right? So this is minus one over four pi over two, which is zero minus zero one. So it's one over four. Okay, so we already combine five answer. We already know five answer. So which one is the largest? Wow, it's hard to determine. <laughs> So basically, uh, uh, k 
Can we first determine these two? Which one is larger? Uh, uh, this uh this one is larger, right? Because this one is larger than one. So basically, right. So we start from here, then we can get here. So this one is the second one is larger than the first one, and then this is a point five. Right, this is much at least one one minus uh, one over uh, one point four something. So this uh, second one is larger than the first one, and then this is uh point two five plus pi is three something eight. So uh, I guess this is two point uh point two six or something. Uh, point was, uh, I would just like, view it as like 3 over 8. So it's like uh, point 0.25 plus point 0.375 is uh, point 0.621. Point 0.621. Okay, so it's point uh, 0.625. And uh, this is one over one point four something. So basically, this is so. This is approximately five over seven. So it's point seven something. Okay. How about e? Uh, so e is uh. Uh, 1044 so it's 0.25 uh, so it looks like uh, it looks like a, a um, it looks like uh, the second one the second one B is the largest the second one okay so we choose B we choose B uh, this is somewhat uh, tedious uh, I guess uh, I guess another way is you plot the the, the graph and the estimate the area, but I think this is difficult, so I choose brute force computation.